Saint Mark the Evangelist Latin, Marcus, Greek, Marcos Coptic, Marcos, Hebrew, Mercus Marcos, Arabic, Marcus Marcus, Amharic, Marcos, Berber languages, is the traditionally ascribed author of the Gospel of Mark. Mark is said to have founded the Church of Alexandria, one of the most important episcopal sees of early Christianity. His feast day is celebrated on April 25, and his symbol is the winged lion. Mark's identity Topic. According to William Lane 1974, an "...unbroken tradition," identifies Mark the Evangelist with John Mark, and John Mark is the cousin of Barnabas. However, Hippolytus of Rome in On the Seventy Apostles distinguishes Mark the Evangelist 2 Tim 4 11, John Mark Acts chapter 12 verse 12, 25, 13-5, 13, 1537, and Mark the cousin of Barnabas call 410, PHLM 124. According to Hippolytus, they all belong to the 70 disciples who were sent out by Jesus to disseminate the gospel Luke chapter 10 verse 1 FF, in Judea. According to Eusebius of Caesarea ECCL. Hist. 2.9.1-4, Herod Agrippa I, in his first year of reign over the whole of Judea AD 41, killed James, son of Zebedee and arrested Peter, planning to kill him after the Passover. Peter was saved miraculously by angels, and escaped out of the realm of Herod Acts chapter 12 verses 1 to 19. Peter went to Antioch, then through Asia Minor visiting the churches in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, as mentioned in 1 Peter 1 verse 1, and arrived in Rome in the second year of Emperor Claudius AD 42, Eusebius, ECCL, Hist. 2.14.6. Somewhere on the way, Peter encountered Mark and took him as travel companion and interpreter. Mark the Evangelist wrote down the sermons of Peter, thus composing the Gospel according to Mark ECCL. Hist. 15-16, before he left for Alexandria in the third year of Claudius 43, in AD 49, about 19 years after the ascension of Jesus, Mark traveled to Alexandria cf. Acts chapter 15 verses 36 to 41 and founded the Church of Alexandria, today, the Coptic Orthodox Church, the Greek Orthodox Church of Alexandria, and the Coptic Catholic Church claim to be successors to this original community. Aspects of the Coptic liturgy can be traced back to Mark himself. He became the first bishop of Alexandria and he is honored as the founder of Christianity in Africa, according to Eusebius ECCL. Hist. 2.24.1, Mark was succeeded by Anianus as the Bishop of Alexandria in the eighth year of Nero 62 probably, but not definitely, due to his coming death. Later Coptic tradition says that he was martyred in 68. Bart Ehrman argues the Gospel of Mark was written by an anonymous author, rather than direct witnesses to the reported events. Topic. Biblical and traditional information Topic. Evidence for Mark the Evangelist's authorship of the Gospel that bears his name originates with Papias. Scholars of the Trinity Evangelical Divinity School are almost certain that Papias is referencing John Mark. Catholic scholars have argued that identifying Mark the Evangelist with John Mark and Mark the cousin of Barnabas has led to the downgrading of the character of Barnabas from truly a son of comfort. To one who favored his blood relative over principles, identifying Mark the Evangelist with John Mark also led to identifying him as the man who carried water to the house where the Last Supper took place Mark chapter 14 verse 13, or as the young man who ran away naked when Jesus was arrested Mark chapter 14 verses 51 to 52. The Coptic Church accords with identifying Mark the Evangelist with John Mark, as well as that he was one of the seventy disciples sent out by Christ Luke chapter 10 verse 1, as Hippolytus confirmed. Confirmed. Coptic tradition also holds that Mark the Evangelist hosted the disciples in his house after Jesus' death, that the resurrected Jesus Christ came to Mark's house John chapter 20, and that the Holy Spirit descended on the disciples at Pentecost in the same house. Furthermore, Mark is also believed to have been among the servants at the marriage at Cana who poured out the water that Jesus turned to wine. John chapter 2 verses 1 to 11. According to the Coptic tradition, Saint Mark was born in Cyrene, a city in the Pentapolis of North Africa, now Libya. This tradition adds that Mark returned to Pentapolis later in life after being sent by Paul to Colossae. Colossians chapter 4 verse 10, Philemon chapter 24. 
Some, however, think these actually refer to Mark the cousin of Barnabas, and serving with him in Rome 2 Tim 4 from Pentapolis he made his way to Alexandria. When Mark returned to Alexandria, the pagans of the city resented his efforts to turn the Alexandrians away from the worship of their traditional gods. In AD 68, they placed a rope around his neck and dragged him through the streets until he was dead. Topic. Veneration. The Feast of St. Mark is observed on April 25 by the Catholic and Eastern Orthodox churches. For those churches still using the Julian calendar, April 25 according to it aligns with May 8 on the Gregorian calendar until the year 2099. The Coptic Orthodox Church observes the Feast of St. Mark on Parmouti 30 according to the Coptic calendar which always aligns with April 25 on the Julian calendar. Where St. John Mark son of Mary, is distinguished from St. Mark, the composer of the earliest gospel that we have, St. John Mark is celebrated on September 27 as in the Roman martyrology and the writer of the gospel on April 25. In addition to St. John Mark in Jerusalem, the parish church of Chester Hill with Sefton in the Diocese of Sydney Anglican Church of Australia is St. John Mark S and it celebrated its patronal festival on September 27. An icon of St. John Mark on Cyprus, painted by a Russian Orthodox monk at Walsingham, was formerly in that church and is now in Christ Church St. Lawrence in Sydney. Topic. Relics of St. Mark Topic. In 828, relics believed to be the body of St. Mark were stolen from Alexandria at the time controlled by the Abbasid Caliphate by two Venetian merchants with the help of two Greek monks and taken to Venice. A mosaic in St. Mark's Basilica depicts sailors covering the relics with a layer of pork and cabbage leaves. Since Muslims are not permitted to eat pork, this was done to prevent the guards from inspecting the ship. S. Cargo too closely, Donald Nichol explained this act as motivated as much by politics as by piety, and a calculated stab at the pretensions of the Patriarchate of Achilleia, instead of being used to adorn the Church of Grado, which claimed to possess the throne of St. Mark, it was kept secretly by Doge Justiniano Participazio in his modest palace. Possession of St. Mark's remains was, in Nichol's words, the symbol not of the Patriarchate of Grado, nor of the Bishopric of Olivolo, but of the city of Venice." In his will, Doge Justiniano asked his widow to build a basilica dedicated to St. Mark, which was erected between the palace and the chapel of St. Theodore Stratolates, who until then had been patron saint of Venice. In 1063, during the construction of a new basilica in Venice, St. Mark's relics could not be found. However, according to tradition, in 1094, the saint himself revealed the location of his remains by extending an arm from a pillar. The newfound remains were placed in a sarcophagus in the basilica. Copts believe that the head of St. Mark remains in a church named after him in Alexandria, and parts of his relics are in St. Mark's Coptic Orthodox Cathedral, Cairo. The rest of his relics are in Venice. Every year, on the 30th day of the month of Paupi, the Coptic Orthodox Church celebrates the commemoration of the consecration of the Church of St. Mark, and the appearance of the head of the saint in the city of Alexandria. This takes place inside St. Mark's Coptic Orthodox Cathedral in Alexandria. In June 1968, Pope Cyril VI of Alexandria sent an official delegation to Rome to receive a relic of St. Mark from Pope Paul VI. The delegation consisted of ten metropolitans and bishops, seven of whom were Coptic and three Ethiopian, and three prominent Coptic lay leaders. The relic was said to be a small piece of bone that had been given to the Roman Pope by Giovanni Cardinal Urbani, Patriarch of Venice. Pope Paul, in an address to the delegation, said that the rest of the relics of the saint remained in Venice. The delegation received the relic on June 22, 1968. The next day, the delegation celebrated a pontifical liturgy in the Church of St. Athanasius the Apostolic in Rome. The metropolitans, bishops, and priests of the delegation all served in the liturgy. Members of the Roman papal delegation, Copts who lived in Rome, newspaper and news agency reporters, and many foreign dignitaries attended the liturgy. In art topic 
Mark the Evangelist is most often depicted writing or holding his gospel. In Christian tradition, Mark the Evangelist is symbolized by a lion. Mark the Evangelist attributes are the lion in the desert, he can be depicted as a bishop on a throne decorated with lions, as a man helping Venetian sailors. He is often depicted holding a book with Pax Tibi Mars written on it or holding a palm and book. Other depictions of Mark show him as a man with a book or scroll, accompanied by a winged lion. The lion might also be associated with Jesus' resurrection because lions were believed to sleep with open eyes, thus a comparison with Christ in his tomb, and Christ as king. Mark the Evangelist can be depicted as a man with a halter around his neck and as rescuing Christian slaves from Saracens. Depictions of Mark the Evangelist Topic. Major shrines Topic. Basilica di San Marco, Venice, Italy. Saint Mark's Coptic Orthodox Cathedral, Alexandria, Egypt. Saint Mark's Coptic Orthodox Cathedral, Cairo, Egypt. Saint Mark's Church in the Bowery, New York City. Topic. See also. Topic. Bocalis. Feast of Saint Mark. Gospel of John Gospel of Luke Gospel of Mark Gospel of Matthew John the Evangelist Luke the Evangelist Matthew the Evangelist Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. St. Mark. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton. Shem, A. J. 1879. Mark, St. The American Cyclopedia. St. Mark in the New Testament. Street. Mark in Early Tradition, two articles by Henry Barclay Sweet. Works by Mark the Evangelist at LibriVox, public domain audiobooks.